Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Jen and I am so excited to welcome you to Grace Church this morning. I know many of you finished up your school this week, which means no more e-learning. And I'm sure that you are really excited for summer to start. Well, at Grace, we're excited for summer to start as well because we're starting a whole new series about prayer. Now, raise your hand if you have ever wondered how you should pray or what you should pray or what words you should use when you talk to God. I know I have. So this summer, we are going to teach you seven different prayers that you can use when you talk to God. The first prayer that we'll be learning about this week is a prayer of praise. And when we praise God, we acknowledge that he is great and he has done amazing things. To help us remember each prayer, we'll be using a different color. And this week, I have this purple ribbon to remind us of praise. Now we can remember this in two different ways. Purple and praise both start with a P, so we can remember it that way. We can also remember that purple is the color of royalty, and we know that God is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and we praise him because he is our king. Now, you might be wondering, why are we starting with a prayer of praise? Well, we can look to what Jesus told us in the book of Luke. His disciples told him, Lord, teach us to pray. And he taught them a very famous prayer that you might know called the Lord's Prayer. And the very first part says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. At our house, we say, Our Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name. This means, God, you are awesome. When we start our prayers remembering that God is awesome, it flows into every other prayer we might say. When we remember that God is awesome, then we can thank him for all the things that we have in our life. When we remember that God is awesome, then when we're feeling sad or scared, we remember to trust him. And when we remember that God is awesome, we know that when we ask him for things, we want to make sure that we are asking for things that are in his will because he has the perfect plan for us. So we start with a prayer of praise as a reminder that God is awesome and he loves us and he has a great plan for our lives. One example of a prayer of praise can be found in Psalm 103. Psalm 103, one and two. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. When we look at Psalm 103, 1 and 2, it reminds us to praise God for who he is and what he has done for us. And that's our big idea today. Why don't you look at the screen and let's read it together. Praise God for who he is and what he's done. But how can we do that? How do we know what words to say when we praise God? Well, one place to look would be in the Psalms. There are lots of different Psalms, just like Psalm 103 in the Bible. And if you look in the book of Psalms, there are lots of prayers of praise that you can read and pray to God. And did you know that the Psalms were actually written as songs? A lot of them were put to music. 
And songs are another way that we can praise God. Our family has a prayer of praise that we sing sometimes called the doxology. It goes like this. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. If you look at the words of the doxology, it talks about how we praise God for who he is and what he has done. It says, praise God from whom all blessings flow. And that means that we praise him for all the blessings that we have in our life. It says, praise him all creatures here below. And that means everyone on earth, praise God. Praise him above ye heavenly host. That means everyone in heaven, praise God. And it ends with, Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, which means we praise God the Father, we praise Jesus, and we praise the Holy Spirit. Songs are a great way to praise God through prayer. You can sing your prayers to God. And that's what I'm going to do with my purple ribbon. I'm going to tie it to my steering wheel so that whenever I am in the car, it reminds me to turn the radio to a station with Christian music so that I can listen to songs that are praising God. And we would love for you to find something purple that you can put somewhere in your room or in your house that you'll see it and remember to praise God for who he is and all the amazing things that he has done. Let's say a prayer of praise together. Dear God, you are amazing. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. And we praise you for all that you have done for us. Thank you for each of the boys and girls who met with us this morning Help them to remember to praise you throughout their days. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We hope you have a great time in your small groups.